Greetings, my noble knights. It is I, Blaze Templar, and this week we are getting ready for our week four of the uh, Piva Blue. Now, you may be wondering, hey, where's week five or three? Unfortunately, my week three hasn't ever replied, um, and his page actually is getting changed around even, so I can't even prepare even if I wanted to. So that's a thing. Anyway, uh, this is our week four. Um, we'll be doing the battle this evening. But he's got a very interesting team with some pretty quick things in like his Thunderous and his Greninja. While he's got a lot of really tanky things like the Mega Venusaur, the Chansey, and uh, the Regirock. Zygarde 10% can be pretty quick. Chandelure can run Scarf, be relatively speedy at that point. And so he has a lot of interesting threats. Now I am carrying Heatran um, on my roster. Or am I? Sworn. Yes, I am. Hallelujah. That would have made things a lot more difficult without Heatran, but um, I decided not to run the Heatran as a lot of his team really isn't particularly threatened by Heatran. Scarf Heatran just, um, that base 77 speed just isn't quite quick enough for something like Zygarde 10%, especially after a Dragon Dance, or if it's outright Scarfed, it'll just Earthquake and destroy me. Um, and so... I needed ways to handle a lot of his other team members. I couldn't focus too much on the Chandelure, even if he trans basically completely walls about every Chandelure set ever. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I just I did not sleep sleep very well, and so I'm running very low on energy right now. I may actually take my five-hour energy just to try to make sure I survive, but. Anyway, here's the team. So I chose Gyarados, Mega of course, because it has some great special bulk, it has a lot of power, and after Dragon Dance is very threatening. Now he has some Pokemon that Gyarados can actually set up on very comfortably. Um, the Fortress being the most notable, but he could also, in theory, set up on like the Mew or the Chansey. Um, just as a couple examples, Regirock can set up on. Um, the best they could do is go for the rock slide, I believe, so not particularly threatening. Um, unfortunately, I can't intimidate Regirock because it does have the clear body ability, but outside of that, um, his team would not like to see Gyarados, and if I could get a substitute up, uh, the theoretical prankster ta uh, the prankster thunder wave from thunderous cannot happen i mean if i am mega it doesn't matter anyway of course but um if he just is running like normal thunder wave or he tries to toxic me or something uh that substitute just kind of puts a damper on that like if he decides to run fortress with thunder wave odds are he might be running volt switch again doesn't matter quite as much because after the sub fortress really is kind of pointless against the Gyarados. Mega. Um, anyway, um, moving onward, I decided Lander is T as I needed a Stealth Rocker Intimidator um, outside of my Mega who naturally loses his Intimidate once he Megas. Um, and I wanted just the general power that this guy provides. Uh, Stone Edge, really nice move. I gave leftovers for some uh, potential leftover recovery. Uh, to kind of hold on a little bit longer as I'm going to be leaning on it very heavy if he does decide to run a very physical week. Um, if he's running more of a special week, not as important. I'll just end up having to use it for uh, wall breaking mostly, um, which he has a lot of slow things, so Landorus T can kind of do that job all right. Uh, speaking of wall breakers, I decided to get one of the best wall breakers in the game in Star Raptor. It's quick, it's pretty powerful, and at base 100 speed, a Jolly Nature basically forces his Mew to run Timid or Jolly uh, just to stay uh, uh, in the same pacing. Otherwise, um, everything below Mew is outsped, and Mew is sped tied at worst. Now that means his Greninja and his Zygarde one ten or ten percent are the ones that Star Raptor are is pretty concerned about, as well as Thunderous. I could have run Choice Scarf, but I wanted the power uh, that the Sharp Beak plus Reckless boost gives on that Brave Bird, so I can kind of just spam Brave Bird and hopefully knock out a couple of his key Pokemon. Uh, and if the matchup isn't particularly nice, I can U-turn out into something that can take it better, like. Oh, well, he has his um, 
fortress on the field. I'll just U-turn out and go into Brainloam. I can set up a spore there or something. Um, although I think Overcoat might make that a bad idea. I can't remember. Yeah, uh, that's right. Overcoat does make Spore kind of uh, pointless, so that's something I'll have to look out for. But if he's doing that, he doesn't have the uh, sturdy ability, which could also be pretty handy, as it means that if I set up enough, I can just one-shot it, which would be pretty nice. Um, last, I decided Luxray. Um, I ran Firefang just for things like the Fortress, as it is pretty tanky, and a four times super effective fire fang could be handy. Um, sure, it's not the strongest move, but it's there. Um, odds are I'll probably be mostly spamming the crunch and superpower um, with an occasional volt switch. Um, I decided not to run the wild charge as I didn't want to take additional recoil damage. I already have a heavy recoil Pokemon in Star Raptor, and just didn't want to take extra recoil. Plus, electric isn't terribly threatening us to his team. Um, sure, it hits Greninja pretty hard, but Volt Switch will do basically the same thing. Hit pretty hard and also get me out of the situation into something that could possibly better handle Greninja like Hitmonchan as it does have pretty good special defense. Plus, I can slow it down with Rock Tomb or I can just mock Punch it and take it out that way. So, that's the team. Um, is it going to work like I hope it does? Maybe. Um, he may get along the lines of, like, Hariyama running an Assault Vest and Thick Fat, which could protect, potentially be a bit annoying to deal with. Um, although I do have Breloom and Hitmonchan, which should be able to 1v1 any um, Hariyama set basically ever. Um, barring, of course, like, the Flame Orb Fake Out set. That could be a bit problematic. But I also have Landorus, so... You know, there are options. And, of course, I do have knockoff. I am not actually running really any special moves outside of Volt Switch this week. Um, this team is basically, we're going to hit incredibly hard. We'll get Stealth Rocks up uh, just to potentially break any sashes, etc. Um, and just wail home as much as we can. Um, and use Prediction to kind of work around threats. Um, I did decide to put Rapid Spin on just so... I don't have to worry about rocks as my Star Raptor and Gyarados before it Megas don't particularly appreciate rocks. Um, and I want to keep Star Raptor as healthy as possible so it can do as much damage as possible. So, yeah, that's the team. We'll hope that we do all right against our opponent, who I believe is Tank. Yes, it is. And we've fought a few times now. We'll see how that goes. And I'll see you in the battle. So, until then, later.